Boom, yo, what up, what up? It's going down. Pretty sure I'm still in IG jail, so I'm standing by for a little while. Um, but I got some stuff coming. We just warming up. We just unwinding. Gonna be an amazing day. I'm gonna go in ahead and make the most of this thing. Um, I just love watching a plan come together. You know? It's a beautiful thing. Anyways, love you guys. And uh, let's make this world a better place. Don't let anyone ask anything of you more than what you demand from yourself. It's awesome when they lift up your skirt and they see that you've been hammering a lot harder than they ever would have expected. You know what I'm saying? When someone comes to check you to see if you're legit or not and then, and then they, they kick over the, the pit and they're like, oh my gosh, there's all kinds of stuff going on here. I'm going to leave this dude alone, right? That's the kind of person you want to be. You want to be like, come spend a day with me and then you want to just bury them with the reality that you live, which is productivity. The other half of it, you guys always know, dream like you live forever because without your perspective is going to dictate your purpose. Your, your, your perspective is going to dictate your performance. Your perspective is where you get your purpose from, you know. And I'm not talking about just sight. Sight can be very depressing. Um, but your vision, where are you taking things up and over? What's going on in here, you know. Uh, what you see in front of you is one thing, but it's a very um, changeable and moldable reality. But when you start to look at, um, use vision, and then you can use faith to pull that vision down, or you can manifest the things you uh, fear. Because the reality is faith and fear are, are, are the same type of energy, the manifestation. They, they manifest things, right? So through faith and vision, I can take actions by the grace of God to give birth to something in this reality because everything was created twice, once in here, and then once out here, right? to bring things from the conceptual world and you will never outperform your self-concept, your personal identity, but the walk of faith is one where you get more equity and more struggle credentials as you accomplish greater and greater things because yeah, it's ethereal and it's so like, oh, this is just a concept and a theory, but no, really, like in your life today, you're gonna do what you believe you can do, with who you believe you can do it, however you believe you can do it. And so what's the operative word? What's the reality? You only do what you believe you can do. You only do what you believe can be done. And if you have no faith involved in that, and if you're not accomplishing goals that are telling you constantly that you can do more than you ever imagined, right? Uh, your self-concept will stay mediocre. Your results will always stay mediocre. And eventually, you'll actually become dominated by fear and you'll stay in protection mode instead of moving into expansion. And that's what so many people do. But they hide it. He who dares greatly wins. If you don't take any great risks. So many good books in the world ain't a single person you're reading about right now. There's not a single person you're watching a movie or reading anything about right now that, that the book says, and you know, Jeff, Jeremiah, Jesus, any of them, King Arthur played it so safe that he became a legend. You know what I mean? Uh, high like you're honored by your enemies you're honored by your adversaries you're honored by the amount of scalps you can get from the enemy I, that this is just the way the game is the bigger the bear on your fireplace the more glory it brings to you what you can do and your god that's the way it works so we chase dragons you know what i'm saying some of us do some of them just look at me like i'm crazy and they get to sleep safely at night because of men like me that chase dragons you know what i'm saying this isn't about like bravado or tough guyness or physical potency. It's about the mentality that we all can take on and that the world would be greatly improved if more of us could take on. Because we would be operating at higher and higher versions of ourselves to put it awkward. And that's what I'm here to do. That's what I'm passionate about. That's why I make these videos for free all the time, just trying to talk to people and try to push you over the ledge so you can fly, you know, the way, the, like an eagle. Not to be cheesy, but that's like what it is, you know what I mean? Because a lot of us spend a lot of time on the ledge looking down, you know? But what does taking flight do for your psychology? And then what does it do for your vision when you realize, yo, man, if I jump, I can fly. You can even do it safely, you know? Like, you can keep your day job, man do this in a way that there's no risk to you other than uh thanks map lady you can do this in a way that there's no risk to you other than 
just like maybe some embarrassment. You can even do it in a way that there is no risk even of embarrassment because no one knows what you're doing. I mean, you got the internet at your fingertips. You can build an international business, you know, in, 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 in a matter of days. You know what I'm saying? You can, you can find a tribe that's passionate about what you're passionate about. No matter how geeky, weird, there, there's pet psychologists online making bank right now. You know, like, uh, which I'm not balking at that. I'm just saying, if you can imagine it, Google it, it's probably there, you know? So there are no excuses anymore. The other side of that, and I'll, I'll end it with like one or two more of these, is just fear also manifests exactly what it focuses on. You've heard it said that the thing you fear the most has been upon you. That's a reality a lot of people live today. It's a reality that so many people, they, 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 they fear something. They spend their whole lives trying to be safe and then exactly what they fear happens. You've had it happen in your life. I've had it happen in my life. I fear it, try to avoid it, then it comes. Fear it, I try to avoid it, then it comes, right, DMX? And that's real, it happens. So I think it's more prudent and constructive to take mental note of danger and be aware of things that are worth being feared, which you actually get more perspective on what's actually legitimately worth uh, giving a little bit of fear to and you actually learn how to let fear motivate you and uh, constructive means of fighting, right? But I would say that uh, you learn about fear, you learn how to have fear rather than let fear have you. Um, but it's more prudent to have faith for things and go after things. And the last thing I'll say about it is that, maybe, <laughs> is that uh, what people also don't realize is that all courses of action are risky. So prudence then is not in playing it safe. Generally, the actually the safest route is the bold route, is to make bold adjustments, bold mistakes, make mistakes and fail more effectively because if you simply let fear hold you in place, you'll be dominated and eventually chased down by fate and you'll be weak and you'll be powerless for not having used your muscles. And this opportunity to live this beautiful miracle of life will pass you by and then you'll die quietly not having made an impact. And this, I think, is the biggest tragedy of this reality because we died two times, I believe. Once physically, and a second time, the last time, someone says your name on this planet. You can play it safe if you want. The tragedy is that what you're here to give will never exist. And um, you'll die with gifts inside of you that are uniquely yours and humanity will be worse off for you not having fought your own good fight. Because there's never been a synergy of experiences, biochemistry, biology like you, and psychology like you. And we all stand to benefit from you becoming your best and contributing from that level of your experience, that level of your awareness. I think I'll park it there. I make these videos because I love you guys, and um, it's like a fire inside of me that I can't contain, to be completely honest. Um, so much more to come. Boom!